Assessment objective, personal response, externally set assignment, annotation, primary and secondary sources. What do all this mean? It's this specialized vocabulary that the first time students hear, they get a blank face. Anyways, I understand and because I want to simplify life and make things easy, I will give it to you in layman's terms. Hi everyone, I am Stella, your art and creativity expert. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This series of videos is dedicated to provide support for the GCSE art and design students. On today's topic, I will discuss about the GCSE art terminology. Stay tuned and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. Assessment objective. Assessment objective basically means that you're going to be assessed, judged, based on the accomplishments of certain objectives, goals. In other words, it's the marking criteria. Externally set assignment. Externally set assignment is your final exam theme which is being set by an external body, not by your school teacher. For example, the Edexcel or AQA examination body. The examination body gives students a topic to develop work and create a final piece for their final exam. Examples of exam themes are fragments, reflection, freedom and so on. I will talk about the externally set assignment in more detail on another video. Personal response. Personal response is an artwork that you've developed in response to something, for example, an artist, an idea or a theme. But it is your unique idea, not a copy. It's your personal idea, inspiration and concept that you have developed around various sources and references that you put together to create a unique piece of artwork that is yours. Annotation. Annotation is basically written notes within your art studies. You are expected to write about your personal thoughts, present comments, describe your own ideas and processes and analyze the work of other artists. Examiners not only want to see what you're making, but also how you're thinking about what you're making. Making art is great, but the thinking process behind it is as important. That's why you write down your thoughts and decisions, problems or solutions to demonstrate that you are reflecting on your work as you are making it. So annotation simply means write about it. Primary and secondary sources. You will probably hear this term very often from your teachers. For those of you who are still unclear, let me clarify this for you too. For your portfolio coursework, you are expected to use different sources for inspiration. These sources are put into two categories, primary and secondary. A primary source is a source you experience firsthand in real life. For example, making a drawing from observation directly, such as a flower or a still life you set up, a friend posing for you, or a landscape you visited yourself. Primary source can also be photos that you have taken yourself with your phone. Now, secondary sources are references created by others and these include images that you find online, in the internet, on books or magazines and so on. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know and hit the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know at the comments below. Also, don't forget to grab the guide Quick Tips for GCSE Art Students and check my online course GCSE in Art and Design Made Simple, the complete beginner's guide. Thank you for watching and on the meantime, let art be a joy.